I remember, you know, being four years old, there were not a lot of art supplies in my life. But whenever I had coloring pens, I think I remember always painting women, you know, and I always had to be like a queen or some sort of high priestess, you know. And that's still the theme, you know, uh, some 60 years later. My mom was the one that realized I was an artist and she's nudging me in that direction. And uh, I asked her recently, I said, Mom, how do you know that I was an artist? And she said, well, every time I had you make the bed or set the table, there was always something very special about how you lay things out. Since I have recollection, it's been like that. I was um, going in that private school with the nuns, so I was really um, already groomed to want to read. So when I found out we had a communist government, I was only 10 years old, I'm like, what's communism? So I started reading about it. I had to educate myself at a very early age about world politics because it was happening in, in my life. And then when the coup happened, it was very terrifying. Uh, there was a lot of shooting and people disappearing. We were not allowed to be on the streets for a period of time. And then uh, the people I was drawn to, artists and writers, were leftists, and my family was not. So I wasn't allowed to talk to certain people because of the danger of being uh, kidnapped. And uh, I kind of deviated myself from my own family. I didn't agree, you know, with uh, Pinochet's rules. And also uh, he favored the upper class and the conquistador um, lineage of Chile still ruling the country. It was very clear to me that it was not the environment to thrive as an artist. That was a wound because if it wasn't have been for that, I wouldn't have left Chile. You know, Chile lives within me and I miss it. And I miss the culture. I, I miss the sounds, the smells, the, the, the food. And I was in a very comfortable home with loving parents and a cute little dog and everything. But my spirit just needed to soar, you know. So, um, but I had been brought up Catholic in a very constricted environment with the nuns. You know, I grew up in a nunnery. I was only 16 years old when I decided to leave. I went to college to become an educator, like a high school educator. So I was, I taught high school and I like working with youth. I did work in San Francisco in halfway homes, teaching art therapy. Be. I did murals with middle school children in Oakland, in East Oakland. When I found the dance drive and I could move in any way I wanted, I started going to Marin County for the dances. So then I moved to Marin County and I ended up in the, in the North Bay, in the country. And I ended up in Middletown. And here I am. In my first series was an underwater series. I used to dive and do a lot of snorkeling. And I remember the reef, you know, the abundance of color and contrast of color in the creatures and the coral and the fish. It was so vibrant that it gave me permission to use color in that way. Though my art, I, I don't think I, I have never shown my art in Chile, but you know, now that we are so global through the internet, you know, but because my themes and the landscapes are from Chile, just about every landscape I have is the mountains of the Andes and Patagonia. I, I am an American citizen, but how could I deny my roots? I mean, <laughs> you can look at it. <laughs>